We made it to Korea! <laughs> so we're in South Korea and it is like 10 a.m. on our official first day, which is September 2nd, Monday, September 2nd. Um, and we're in the Pacific Hotel, which we really like. It's in like one of the very touristy areas, which I think is Myeongdong. Myeongdong, potentially pronounced wrong. Um, I didn't mean pronounce it wrong, but I'm kind of glad it's it. And last night when we got in, we got mcdonald's because it was just the easiest thing to get um we got here and checked in probably around like 6 p.m which is like 5 a.m back on the east coast and we got we both got some chicken nuggets and he got a cheeseburger it's good it's really and good. we got fries and a mcflurry that was strawberry oreo which we think probably is probably the best here. mcflurry i've ever had and personally. it was phenomenal it was really really good and the prices were really cheap um like the McFlurry was two dollars, and everything was below ten dollars total for everything that we got. We uh, we figured out that ten thousand won is like seven dollars, seven fifty. So we're just taking a quarter of everything, taking a thousand off, you know. When we were flying here, we saw like a couple signs that made us feel really good about this trip and not be as nervous. Um, the gate that we were leaving out of it was Seoul, South Korea, out of Minneapolis. And right next to it, the flight was to Orlando, Florida. And then once that departed, the flight was then to um, Salt Lake City, Utah. So that made us feel really good. And then today, we were trying to sleep for about 12 hours just because it took about 24 hours to fly here. So we, I woke up at like 3.30 in the morning and you woke up closer to five or oh, six. And I was super, super hungry because I barely ate on the plane because I don't like plane food. And we ended up going to this place called Egg Drop and it was so cute and it was just like a bunch of breakfast sandwiches. I got the avocado egg sandwich and Chris got the garlic. Garlic bacon sandwich. Cheese, garlic, garlic bacon cheese. <laughs> and the subway system here is really easy to figure out, very clean. Everyone is super quiet, like you have to whisper in public places even though there are many, many people in these places. It's very quiet, which is traditional here, I believe. They're very polite about everything, which is nice. Our flight over was really good. We ended up booking like a higher option, so we weren't in economy for all 14 hours. Premium select. On Premium Delta. select, um, which was right below Delta One, which is the beds. So we didn't get the beds, but it was nicer seats that had footrests and recline and everything. We would definitely do it again. It was well worth it. The whole 14 hours from Minneapolis was not very hard. We slept on and off. I watched Freaky Friday and almost the whole new season of Love is Blind UK. And then we both got drinks this morning from 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven is a very popular thing here and they have like a bunch of different foods and drinks and stuff. And this is a strawberry juice. They sell this cup with just ice in it and you buy the cup and then you can choose from a bunch of different juices like iced coffees, matcha, juice. And this one's strawberry and Chris just threw his out but it was, I finished it anyway. Classic. But. Um, he got watermelon and these are so good and they were like less than two dollars a person and it just makes a lot of sense like selling the ice and then pouring the juice in it. It was very nice. Good vibes. And now we're probably going to go to a market um, and see what they have there and then just to explore different parts of the city. There's a little umbrella so you don't get wet from rain when crossing the street. How cool is that? walking around one of the markets. I don't remember what the name is. <laughs> they sell just a bunch of random things. There's a lot of purses and clothes and different types of foods. And it's still really quiet here. Just like it is everywhere else, honestly. Okay, so now we're in like a fish area of this market and definitely smells like fish. Just a bunch of different foods. I don't think we're gonna get anything. It's not really up our alley and we're not really hungry. But like, for example, we have all this fish. So, it's our first day in South Korea and we just went to a market. I don't remember the name of the market, but I'll insert clips of what we saw. There was a lot of 
like clothing and purses and fish. A lot of fish. <laughs> a lot of fish. Um, and now we're gonna go to this bakery called Truffle Bakery. We have to take the subway, which is pretty easy, and we have been doing a few times already. Um, but we're gonna go there because there's this like tissue paper French toast. <laughs> I just trip. There's this tissue paper French toast that I really want to try. And yeah, we're on our way there. Same kind. <laughs> we came to a fried chicken speakeasy and they gave us popcorn, but we don't know what it tastes like. I couldn't explain to you. Some bites are sweet, some bites are almost like fishy. I don't know. Really? I think it tastes. I don't know. It's not sweet. And then this one's radish, which I don't know if we're going to touch that. It, but... it looked beautiful, but I don't know. <laughs> And then this is the speakeasy. No one's really here, but it's only like lunchtime. Yeah, it's noon on Monday. Hello, you're live. So we got kimchi sauce and truffle fried rice, which Chris is gonna try. It's supposed to be spicy. Scary, very scary. <laughs> so we got the chicken fingers, which they're known for, or chicken wings, <laughs> and the corn and honey. What do you think? It's really good. The corn? Yeah. It's very sweet. It just makes sense. Yeah, it has like corn flakes on it. I was expecting corn corn, which is dumb. I agree. But it's cool. So the next is the honey. I've been demoted. I'm gonna sell for <laughs> corn. <laughs> next is honey. And it's really good. We thought it just tastes like a sweet chicken. Right? Yeah, similar to the corn one, just no corn. Yep. Chris and the thing. <laughs> this is how you get into this um, chicken speakeasy that we were just at. Did you hear what he said? No. He said, my girlfriend eats for free. <laughs> is it crazy? Um, yeah, okay, now I'm throwing off. <laughs> <laughs> what up, squad? So, we just went to this Starbucks, which was a Starbucks, Starbucks reserve. reserve. Um, and it's the second Starbucks we've been to in Korea and today and the chai was sold out. <laughs> Can you believe that? You so believe that? I didn't get anything. They have a lot of like unique pastries there. Um, they cool. like, had like a cloud cheesecake. It looked pretty good. Yeah, a lot of cakes. Do you want Yeah. Um, but now we're going back on the subway for train and we're going to go to the Starfield Library, which is a really popular tourist place. <laughs> And then we're gonna go back and probably take a nap or something because it's been a very long morning of traveling around and seeing and eating. <laughs> seeing things and eating. But it's been a good day. We've been there. We have unlimited Metro cards now. So we're oh, we do. We do. We were paying like a couple dollars Two for bucks. single tickets. Yeah, but yeah. then we went and got, what is it called? Five day climate card pass. Climate card. Um, you have to buy the card at the office and then you can refill it, quote unquote at the refill stations and get a five day or three day or whatever you want. And we couldn't find an office a couple no, times. Office so experience was weird. Yeah. Finally got it and now we're refilling it and we have unlimited so we can go anywhere. Anywhere. And in the as often as we want. <laughs> so back on the subway we go. Tourists. So Chris found quail eggs at the E Mart. <laughs> Chocolate Nutella balls, unfortunately. <laughs> really close. Cool. I guess so. so all day mm -hmm. And then they have all this ramen. And they have all these types of milk. So strawberry, probably just regular. And then I know one of them is matcha. It might not be that. One. So they have a late night Dorito. It says seasoned Gallaby chicken. I don't know what that means, but. This, we definitely don't have this in America. Look. <laughs> what is Galbi? I have no idea, but it says it's chicken. All right, <laughs> we're at Myeongdong Market, night market, and we got like this egg, egg bread bun. thing. Yeah, egg bun, right? Put it from the top. That's, oh, that's what it used to look like. Um, it was okay. It was like sweet bread with an egg, so exactly what you would expect. Hard boiled at the bottom. Not what yeah, you want. it was okay. Personally. And then we got this, which is a little strawberry mochi, which is 
from this stand. And we got the strawberry fruit. You could get strawberry ice cream, but we got the fruit. Okay, so we got the strawberry mochi. Very good. Very good. What does it taste like? Strawberry? Wow. Okay, now we have an Oreo churro. Good. Oh. It tastes like Oreo. Really good? Really good. This is a stand. We've been waiting for this because we saw this online before. It looks so good. It is really good.